Hey everybody, it's time for a traditional, old-fashioned, after-convention unpacking video. That's right, unpacking my luggage to see what I brought home and perhaps what I took with me, including backpack, that's the carry-on personal item, carry-on bag, and the giant suitcase, which now weighs exactly 50 pounds. There's 50 pounds of stuff in there. And that one is also quite heavy. So let's get these things open. Now, of course, when you're traveling on a plane, you've always got to have your personal item, which carries your phones. I carry two phones. Why? Because my new phone does not have a headphone jack, which makes it very impractical. You can get an adapter for a Samsung phone to make it work with headphones, but they break every two minutes. Okay, and then sometimes I take NyQuil to put myself asleep on the plane power supply for the phone and let's see what kind of comfortable items we have in here i had jerky and a sandwich i have my noise canceling sony headphones my favorite ever is that focused hmm they are so nice and i have my airplane blanket so cozy i have my computer actually the reason i'm doing this video now is because i got to get the computer out so i can make the video and the Packaging for the Sony headphones and look at this. It's a neck brace for sleeping on a plane and a bag What else is in there garbage? I think that's just about it. Oh, Alka-Seltzer in case you get an upset stomach You know from all that bad food you eat at the convention nothing good Nothing good at all for a week for a week left on Monday night came home on Sunday night there's my little Dell computer, 13 inch. Is there anything else in there? No. Very lightweight, Burton. Burton snowboard bag. Yes, all right. Let's dig into the big, or let's dig into this bag. What is in there? What is in this bag? Let's see, there's all these zippers. I'm always worried I'm gonna leave something in here. Extra mask, have to wear one on the plane. And napkin, toothbrush, and Toothpaste, of course, gotta have that. And some sort of a card. Oh, that was the, uh, the limousine that took me to the airport. Yes, I took a limousine. No, it wasn't a limousine. It was a big SUV. It was surprisingly inexpensive. I was gonna order an Uber, but I went out, see, they had a car service that parks there with these black, like a big black SUV, a really nice one, all leather seats and everything. And I went out and asked the lady who was driving, I said, hey, how much is the ride to the airport? And she said, $45. And I was like, oh, okay, $45 a person? No, she said, $45 for everybody. Jump on in. So I gathered up a couple of other collectors who were waiting for a ride to the airport, and off we went to the airport. It was quite a ways, actually, too, like 13 miles. It took quite a while. That's actually the bag, special bag for my computer. It's supposed to be in that. And the paperwork from the convention. And look at this, my roommate, my best friend Terry gave me this. My other car is a Hot Wheels license plate bracket. Very cool. What else is down in here? Another business card, a business card and a spoon. I was looking for that spoon yesterday when I was trying to eat my yogurt, but then I forgot to take it out of the, take it out of the bag before I went through the TSA. And, and then TSA said, sorry, you can't have this yogurt in here. You have to give it to me. I was like, oh, dude, come on, I want to eat that yogurt. No, you might be a terrorist. You have yogurt. You must be a terrorist. All right, anyway, they take that away from me for over four ounces. All right, hey, what's in here? You know, these are really handy. These come from Ikea, and you can put stuff in here to protect it. Or I like to keep these around the convention and, you know, throw my, my cords and whatnot in there. Of course, you have your your badge your merit badge and then oh the hot wheels convention cars i've got got two extra yesterday at the toy show that's this box actually i have my uh 442 stickers in that and then more charlotte and then for all you newsletter people you get your free newsletter car and take these out extra glasses look at this this is fun this is called a loom cube, and it's actually a bank of lights. You want to see how bright it is? Let's see. Okay, here we go. All right, it turns on that 65% brightness. That is only 65% brightness, and then you can turn it up to 100%, and you can turn it down 
to wherever you want. There's about 35% there. And then you can change the color of the light from all the way from bright white to warm white. Can you see that? It's pretty cool. It's especially cool for like deciding what color light you want in your room. There we are going back up to Kelvin. This, you know, light is measured by Kelvin. It goes from 5,600 Kelvin down to, let's see, 30. 200 Kelvin or K. Pretty cool, isn't it? And it charges up. Lasts for several hours. You could actually use it when you're displaying cars at the convention. And you got your collector's national information. I use this box for signs, my recordings, my sales list, free pen, more convention cars. You know what this is? This is so that you can this is so that you can put your phone on a tripod. It's a clamp. Jellyfish. Square jellyfish. A couple of those in there. More convention cars. More convention cars. Baggy. More convention cars. More convention cars. How many do you get? Oh, you get three of each of the two models and then you can buy two more at the toy show if you want to wait in line for two hours. And then you've got the end of convention car. The finale car. Okay cool that is. I don't know if this is coming into focus quite properly. This is how I brought my cars to the convention. 48 car case and a 48 car case and a 12 car case which I temporarily lost under the bed. I was freaking out because I couldn't find it because I only bought like eight red lines and they are all in this case. Took that and then while I was there I bought this 24 car case which I then proceeded to fill up with black walls like blown Camaros and things like that I think there's a few Tamikas in there too pretty cool I'll have a video out on that in a few days my watch which I forgot to have to charge it up to use it and the cord that I brought was broken terrible extra pens extra pens this is handy magnifier lighted whoa magnifier lighted always check the batteries before you leave home and I didn't use it, but this is my old-fashioned iPod. Ever seen one of these? Old-fashioned iPod Classic? Oh, yeah. iPod Classic. Yes, mine has uh, 12,000 songs on it, I think, something like that. Almost 12,000. Some shirts, another 48 card case. Ah, right there. And more glasses. Kind of have plenty, because if we break on I won't be able to see anything. That's right. Mouse, shirts, underwear, money. Ooh, money. Money. Ah, yes. I didn't spend hardly anything. That was terrible. And then they give you this gift. I thought it was convention. It's one of those things that you can touch things. Point, you know, like uh, change the elevator without having to have to touch it and get COVID all over your fingers. And it came with a nice lanyard. 22nd annual Hot Wheels Nationals, so cool. Sunglasses, which I never wore because we hardly ever left the hotel. And that is about it. Oh, stop showing your underwear, Dave. That is so disgusting. Ah, there we go, there we go. Hey, here's another product, look at this. It's called Vibes, and what this is, it's, this, is this is basically earplugs that you can hear through but it will turn the sound down around you. So if a bunch of sound bothers you, you just put these in your ears. It's called Vibes. You get them on Amazon. And uh, I use them like, say we go out to a restaurant and the people are laughing and making a loud racket. Well, I can't stop paying attention to it because uh, I am highly, I'm highly attuned to what's going on around me. And so this helps me to uh, not have to focus on everybody's noise. <clears throat> Which makes me happy. I don't like listening to everybody else laughing and carrying, hooting and hollering. I don't even know what the joke is. That's my rest of my jerky. Big old bag here. Well, what's down in there? Nothing. Nothing? No, nothing. Okay. Open this up. Doing this with one hand. Oh, 50 pound bag. What in the. Oh, dear. Good thing I didn't fall on a convention car. I don't know what could be in this. What could be in this bag? Okay. 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 
I put some packing material in there just in case I had to pack something. Pretty nice. Got my sweatpants. And what's this? Oh, that's my Hot Wheels shirt. I think I bought that there, actually. I had one of these years ago, and I bought this there. It's that size extra large. Looks like it's maybe worn once or twice, and it's beautiful condition. And if you want to buy it, it's 150 bucks. I will sell it to you. Oh, got some more tiny whities in there. Got my granddaughter, some three little teddy bears. Three for five at the Hot Wheels convention. Yes, that's not just Hot Wheels. Bag of electronic hookup cables. Always bring an extension cord. You never know. Got a couple of dollar cards here. You know, I could only find dollar cards at the uh, last day's toy show. Dollar cards were in short supply this year. Wireless earbuds that didn't work. Another dollar car. I was giving out free face masks if anybody needed one. I didn't wear one myself. Power cord. T-shirt. Split flops. Muscle machines. What the heck? My buddy, my roommate, had like a hundred of these things. I looked them all up on eBay and priced them for him. And he gave me an Edsel. Two Edsels. That was my favorite of the batch of the muscle machines. And we sold them. We sold them all. $1,000. And look at this. I had... I didn't really use it, but I bought my monopod. This one's Manfrotto. Best brand, really, for this kind of stuff. Are we still getting focused? I don't know. It doesn't matter. This is just rough estimate. That's the convention t-shirt that I ordered in advance. Extra large. Oh, check this out. There they are. The giant buttons. Yay! Giant buttons. Got the Firebird and the Camaro. They were also the Corvette and the Fire... Corvette and something else. But I bought these two. Relatively inexpensive. And I brought this light box to put a sign out in front of my room, but then I didn't have a cable to hook it up because it doesn't come with that. It just comes with a light box, which when I once I found a cable, didn't work anyway. My prized Hot Wheels shirt, the baseball jersey, I keep it in. I kept it in this bag. I never even wore it this time around. You know, the jersey everybody would like to have. The Hot Wheels jersey. Yes. And my knee brace, in case my knee gave out. Okay, and some short pants. And look at these lamps. There are actually two lamps in here. Check this out. Here they come. Look at that. There's a lamp. There's a lamp. Look at this mess I've made. And there's another lamp. And it's all in there. And here's my doorstop. It was Terry's doorstop, but now it's mine. He left it behind. And now the patch that's in there. And a brush, which I didn't use. And this is pretty cool. This is like a disco light, and you can screw it into a lamp, but I bought this plug-in. I was going to put it out front of the room to uh, grab attention, which is what you have to do when you want to sell stuff at the convention. Uh, let's see, power cord. This hooks my phone up to the TV so I can watch movies off my phone. More glasses, more shirts, more napkins, leftover red line, another camera adapter for the tripod, a couple more dollar cars. Actually, I think I paid two dollars. Might have got that one for free. And uh, the neatest thing, well, here this is neat. Bought one of these guys, Tom Daniel. I haven't seen this one before, really. What's this? Oh, I bought this at the convention. This spoilers blister pack. Probably because it was cheap or something. Look at this mess. This was my favorite find at the convention: cartoons, magazines. And uh, first, I just kind of briefly looked at them. And I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of neat, buck a piece. And then I noticed that it said on, I think all of them, maybe most of them, it'll say things like, I don't know, let's see. One of them said, they have like posters or something in them. One of them had an iron on when I was looking at it. And plus I got these cool pictures. And then uh, these are neat. You can order these, but you could actually take those pictures copy them off and make buttons out of them. That'd be pretty cool. I like that kind of stuff. Really neat. So I'm going to spend some time looking through here. I was thinking what would be cool would be to take pictures from cartoons and put the names of me and my friends in them. Make some like memes, like internet memes with cartoons and our names. Perhaps even inside jokes. And uh, that, I, think, I feel like that would be fun. Oh my gosh, I'm making a huge mess here. Just pulling everything out. 
Hope you don't do it like this at your house. And this actually, as you can see now, look at that. It's way down in the bag, but you know what it is? This is a display case, but it's not really a display case. It's, I made it into a display case. It's actually a shadow box. And the reason it's cool is because it, it's not like a big old box. It takes up half the room. It really would. If, it, if I had a lid on top of this, it would take up like half of the room of this suitcase. But really, it sits down in the bottom. And see, it's that big, but it doesn't take up that much space. It's really cool. And I think I've showed it before. But, uh, you know, there it is. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the video in a minute to show you how that goes together. I'll set that over there. And, of course, down in the bottom, you just put in some clothing and stuff to to uh, pad that at the bottom. Because you got your rails from your suitcase. And then you pad that with your extra clothes. And then you put the box in. And then you stock everything up on top of that. So, that's pretty much it. And then I found these. Somebody left these in the hall. They're pretty cool. Next time I go to a toy show, I'll hand these out to the kids. I'll get a big bang it up. They're, uh, they are tattoos. Like, uh, what, what do you call it? I don't know. What do you call it? Anyway, they are from Mattel. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, what do you call the, you put them on with water? I don't know. Anyway, that's what those are. Let's do this box. I'll show you how that works. Okay, let me show you how this works. Let me show you how this works. Okay, so you see, it's very large. But inside, you've got all the storage room. So you just take it out of the box. It's actually like a sleeve. And then this is, this is actually the bottom of it. Then I've got cardboard filling in this gap here in the glass. And also inside two layers of cardboard to protect the glass. And then there it is. It opens up like that. You turn it upside down. Put the bottom in. Turn these things sideways. See what I'm doing. I can't see the screen. And there you have it. Now you have a display case. And I use uh, just like that. I like to put my cards in the display case because it looks so nice. Keeps your fingers off. But I tell you what, you probably do better if you just let people handle your cards when you're going there to sell. So that is all for this video. And now look at this huge mess that I've made. Holy smokes. Well, I better get with it. But I've got people, I've got phone calls to answer and messages to answer. So thanks for watching me on this video. The traditional unpacking of the convention luggage. Some people find it very exciting. And thanks for watching. Now I do have over 500 40 videos, almost 550 videos for your watching pleasure, and I appreciate it, and thank you so much. Leave your comments below.